there is an explosion of solar flares. Life that is ready for that kind of blast will invigorate. For a spiritual seeker, a conducive time is coming. Some will make use of it, some will crib. Which one are you? Well, very warm for a post-monsoon August, <laughs> probably the next ten to twelve months will be way higher than the mean temperatures uh, compared to other years because there is an explosion of solar flares. We must understand that all life on this planet is powered by solar energy. Solar energy is not an invention by you because you made a solar panel. The leaf is a solar panel. The planet itself is a solar panel. Everything that we are doing here, whether you eat a plant or an animal or you switch on the lights, what's behind it may be diesel, may be coal, may be Something else, it doesn't matter what, everything is solar power. So the essential energy on this planet is solar. When this is the case, if the source of this solar power gives us a blast, if you know how to take it, it's a great advantage. If you don't know how to take it, you may get fried. Yes. So what do I mean by how to take it? As all of you know or maybe you don't know, many of you are innocent, just out of textbook. You never walked the planet, I'm saying <laughs> You know all plant life bursts out. Once summer comes in, we call it spring. Essentially, it's the beginning of summer. Life springs forth. When there is not enough sun, everything slows down. You know this much? You read it somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, if you get a solar blast, life that is ready, for that kind of blast will invigorate. Life that is not ready will dwindle down or get burned down. So, uh, if here the soil is rich and it is holding sufficient moisture, if the sun gets really hot, this tree is going to grow at double the pace that it would normally grow. If there is no richness in the soil, sun will burn it down. Same goes for you and me. If your roots are into a rich place, then solar flare, human beings should burst forth. Because we are not different from any other life on this planet in terms of physical structure, when I say physical structure, not the form but the fundamental physical structure and uh, how it is evolved and what has happened, it's the same story. From an amoeba to a human being. So all life, if it is into a rich source, it will flourish, otherwise it will perish or at least go into a disadvantage. So next twelve months, ten to twelve months I would say, could get very hot possibly or may not be because it depends on how Mother Earth responds. If there is more warmth, the volume of evaporation that happens from the water bodies on the planet, particularly the oceans which is being the largest, if water evaporates, where do you think it'll go? Largely the first formation is the cloud. 
So if substantial increase in cloud cover happens once again, it'll cool down. But one thing that'll happen is, once the cloud goes up, it can't just stay there nor can it just largely dissipate, most of it has to come down in the form of precipitation. If it is cold enough in certain parts of the world, it'll come down as snow. If it is warm, the same thing will come down as water. So this will be one of the greatest challenges probably next summer for temperate climates and also for us to some extent. That is, even if twenty percent of the snow that comes down, an, you know, a, an annual average, if it comes down as rain instead of coming as snow, there will be unimaginable disasters for human societies and urban societies particularly. Well, already you have seen, I think, uh, if you need to live in Mumbai and Delhi, along with your car, you also need a boat <laughs> Hello? Because uh, it's an annual happening, it's no more a once in twelve years. It's every year happening, you need a boat also to live there. Well, southern India has not suffered so much for a variety of reasons, but it is also possible as it gets warmer, the monsoon winds and the cloud movement may all go little north. It… If it'll move away from the equator. It's a natural phenomenon. If it gets warm, it starts moving away from the equator. So rain that's supposed to come here, if it lands in Germany or Switzerland or somewhere, those lands are not ready for that kind of rain. They need snow. But why are we talking about rain and monsoon? Sadhguru, this… Sadhguru, this is a darshan <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, I know. I'm just telling you, for a spiritual seeker, a conducive time is coming. Some will make use of it, some will crib. Which one are you? You need to make use of it. So the important thing is, how to conserve this energy, how to make this into a productive process rather than becoming sick with it. Well, all the medical things, uh, I will ask them to put out a list of things that you should do, how much water you should drink, da-da-da, those things will put it out. But the important thing is, most of you are doing Surya Kriya, This means uh, we are trying to draw more. Now it's been given. Even for the idiots who did nothing. <laughs> if you draw it in the right way, you will see a certain level of exuberance in your energies. If you don't, it will leave you sapped out. So, uh, for a spiritual seeker, the coming year is going to be good. I am wanting to make use of this twelve months and seeing most of the consecrations we would like to finish in this time when nature is good with us. I am saying all this, not because uh, I'm studying solar flares or something. My body is the barometer. Every day your body is speaking, you must learn to listen. Now, drinking water, you need a prescription. How many liters of water you should drink? A dog, a cat, a bird, everybody knows when to drink water, when not to, isn't it? How come human beings don't know? So this is because the cloud up in the sky is beneficial to us, but a clouded head is not beneficial to us. Head has gotten clouded because 
the fundamental mistake that you have made is, you have started thinking your thought and emotion are for real. Right now, all of you must think of a tiger. Can you? You must think of a jasmine flower. Can you? You must think of a devil. You can think of whatever the hell you want, isn't it? But how can what you create torture you? Oh, if what you create tortures you, you really in a mess, isn't it? Hello? Not a small mess, a fundamental mess. Because the fundamental mistake is this, you have misunderstood your psychological reality as existentially true. Psychology is what we are making up. We can make up whatever we want. It is a drama, mental drama that you are creating. At least be a good director. Hello? So you just have to learn little direction. What should happen here? We must decide, isn't it? Otherwise, if you don't know how to do drama, at least you must stop it and just sit down. You must little watch what's happening. At least once in three to four hours, simply closing your eyes for two minutes, just seeing what's happening. Right now, does this need to eat, drink water, just breathing is good? What is it? Hello? Is your life paying that… worth paying that much attention, I'm asking you? Your life, is it worth that much? Please do it then. So, uh, this is a good time, next ten, twelve months, we will… in the month of December, when it'll be hot but pleasant. We will… Uh, that month is the sadhana month here at the Ishavaka Center. So, this is a good time. But one who knows, one who is fit for life, every time is good time. One who is not fit for life, always looking at which is good time, which is bad time. If you are fit for life, every time is good time. Let's make that happen. <laughs>